everyone, it's your girl Olivia here, and I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not my... my boy here! <laughs> 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 Alright, and then that was the intro. Good, I think we nailed it. <laughs> First, thank you so much for having me. I'm Mike Natter. Thank you for being on my right, channel. Hey, come on. <laughs> I am a second year medical resident at a hospital in New York City. I'm a type 1 diabetic and I'm an artist. And what are you doing in my bed? Why am I in your bed? <laughs> I mean, I think the answer is obvious. We're talking about diabetes. Exactly. Diabetes. What is type 1? What is, what what is, is type 1? Let's talk about that. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting down and dirty. Yeah. So type 1 is what usually is in adolescence. The most common age of diagnosis is between 7 and 12. What happens is we have in an organ called a pancreas. Where is your pancreas? Your pancreas is a retroperitoneal organ. Whoa, big words! So your pancreas, your pancreas kind of lives over here. It's it's like deeper in. It's like in this little ridge. This little ridge. It's this little ridge. <laughs> the pancreas is amazing. The pancreas wears two different hats. I wish I had hats with us. I know we need we need like a little. Yeah, that would have been fun. It wears an exocrine hat and an endocrine hat. There's a little percentage of the pancreas that's made up of endocrine cells, and that tiny bit of endocrine cells makes something called insulin. Can I have like a little like... I'm, da -da -da -da. It's going to be right, trust me. It's insulin. gonna be like this. Yeah. Insulin. Insulin is a hormone. And that hormone, hormone? is a hormone. There's How do you say it? Hormone. Hormone? <laughs> hormone. It's a hormone. <laughs> That's an A. <laughs> Insulin is a hormone. It makes it sound so slutty. Hormones? Okay. Insulin. Insulin. Insulin is a hormone, which is a chemical messenger that gets secreted or like pooped out into the bloodstream from the pancreas, and it helps unlock the cells such that the sugar that we've digested can go from our blood into our cells. Once we get that sugar into the cells, we can make energy, and our cells get to do all the things they need to do. Cells of the pancreas that make insulin a hormone, mm -hmm. the, your own immune system ends up attacking those cells and wiping them out. So in the absence of those cells, we no longer have insulin around. Without insulin, all of that sugar remains in the bloodstream and not in the cells. And that results in high blood sugar. All right, so what did you just check right now? Oh, so in the absence of insulin, mm -hmm. if I have diabetes, which which I do. I need to give myself insulin in a form that will allow me to balance my blood sugars on my own. There's different flavors of insulin pump. And this tube here, it's like subcutaneous, so it's just beneath the skin. Okay. And this will continuously give me insulin on its own. My pancreas is sleeping. It's done. It's out to lunch. Got it. And it's not coming back. It's not well. For lunch. No. Maybe one day. Do you treat diabetes? Or do you manage it? Like, what's going on? Management is the best way of putting it because it's constant. It's constant management. Your pancreas was doing things for you automatically and unconsciously. And when you get diagnosed with diabetes, all of these responsibilities that were kind of done in the background have now become your responsibility. And it's a constant daily, hourly thing that you're concerned about. Management includes testing your blood sugar, and to test your blood sugar, most people would use a small glucometer where they prick their finger and they take a little sample of blood and it tells them what their blood sugars are. In addition to, to that, new devices have come out that I am a big fan of called continuous glucose monitors, so CGMs. So I have one on my arm here. Nice. I will zoom in. And what that does is that continuously gives you an idea of where your blood sugars are trending, whether they're trending up or down or holding steady, mm -hmm. and that in conjunction with testing your blood sugar from a finger stick will give you a good sense of where your blood sugar is at in a moment of time. Like, what if you are not managing your type 1 diabetes? What happens? So the short term would be hypo or low blood sugar, which is very dangerous, and you feel those effects immediately. You feel shaky, cold sweats, weak, you feel nauseous, you have a headache. Complications of that immediately would be having, you know, passing out and having a seizure potentially, as well as coma and even possibly death. So it's very scary, very serious. And treatment of hypo or low blood sugar would be eating things with sugar as quickly as you can. So usually people will have a glass of orange juice or something very sweet, and that usually corrects it within 15 or 20 minutes. Long-term complications, which are much more concerning, if you have higher amounts of sugar in your blood than you should, 
you are gonna cause sugar to build up on parts of your bloodstream that shouldn't have it. And the smaller blood vessels that serve your kidneys or your eyes or your fingers and your toes will get affected. So things like blindness, things like kidney disease, those are unfortunately the, the things that we wanna avoid in type one diabetics. How about DKA, that is diabetic ketoacidosis. Can you talk to us about that? Sure. So DKA or diabetic ketoacidosis happens when there's not enough insulin around in the system. When there's no insulin, that sugar can no longer get into the cells. So your body shunts to a different fuel source, and that fuel source usually is fat and muscle tissue. The byproducts of breaking down fat and muscle tissue are very acidic, and those acidic byproducts will get dumped into your bloodstream, causing your bloodstream to become very full of acids, extremely dangerous. And so that can lead to DKA, which can lead to coma, and which can lead to death. That closes off this episode with Dr. Natter, Dr. Mike Natter. Follow him on his Insta. It's gonna be down in the links below. Underneath, down, yeah, right down there. Make sure to check out our next episode. Mike, thank you so much for being thank on you for my channel. Me. Very you did, comfortable. You did very great. Until next time. Peace out, we here, babe. Go peace out. <laughs>